Hello, Super Saver. I hope this month has been treating you well so far. The top high yield savings accounts right now. That's what we're talking about in today's video. And to all of you who sent us the latest offers, a very special thank you. It helped guide our detective skills in the right direction. All the high yield savings accounts that I'll be covering today are FDIC insured. And towards the end of this video, I'll also talk briefly about some personal thoughts I have in general on top high yield savings accounts, as well as some considerations to keep in mind when choosing one. Without further ado, let's dive right in with number three on our list of top high yield savings accounts. Tied for third, we have Citbank and Marcus by Goldman Sachs, organized alphabetically. Let's start from the bottom of the table and work our way up to the top today. Marcus, the direct bank of Goldman Sachs of Wall Street fame, is offering an APY of 3.75% with a 1% referral bonus on top. So you must have friends and or family to refer to get the full 4.75% APY. If you don't, then one of the other high yield savings accounts that I'll be talking about later in this video may be a better option for you. So here's how the 1% referral bonus works. If we look at step one, you have to be a Marcus customer first. So if you're not, you'll need to open an account with them before proceeding further. After you do that, you then send a unique referral code to a friend or family member who has not owned a Marcus online savings account or CD in the past 12 months. In step two, your friend has to open an online savings account with Marcus. The referred friend or family member can earn a 1% APY referral bonus for three months when they use your unique referral link that you sent them to open their online savings account. In step three, you'll also receive a 1% APY referral bonus for three months when your friend or family member opens an online savings account or CD. You can click on this link here to see full offer details or this button here to start referring a friend. As I mentioned earlier, you will need to sign up for a Marcus online savings account first if you don't have one already. According to Marcus, their online savings accounts have no fees and no minimum deposits. And you can do same day transfers of $100,000 or less to and or from other banks. And if we go back to this page on how the 1% referral bonus works and scroll down, it seems that if you refer more friends, you earn more rate bonuses. For every friend you refer, you'll get a rate bonus on your online savings account for three months. You can refer as many friends as you want at any time. And you can earn up to five rate bonuses in a calendar year. If this is something you're interested in, I'd suggest clicking on this learn more button and reading through the fine print. As customary, I've linked this page as well as all the other links for the next four banks that we'll be talking about in the description below because it did take us a bit of digging to find some of these links. I don't think this will be a major issue, but just in case you're a super, super saver, it should be noted that Marcus does have customer deposit limits capped at a maximum of $3 million across all deposit accounts. Online savings accounts and CDs are limited to a maximum balance of $1 million per account. But that said, we would generally recommend staying within the FDIC coverage limits anyway. For those of you who are interested, Marcus is also running a special promotional 5.05% APY 10 month CD offer. I've included the link to this video in the description below if you want to learn more about the ins and outs of this offer. Now let's move on to Citbank, which is tied at number three with Marcus at Goldman Sachs. Citbank is offering an APY of 4.75% on their platinum savings account. With Cit, it'll be easier to earn the full 4.75% APY. There's no need to refer friends and or family, but you do need to keep a minimum account balance of $5,000 to get this APY. If you think your balance is going to fall below $5,000 at any point, this may not be the best option for you. Because if we go to their platinum savings account page and scroll down, 
we can see that with a balance of less than $5,000, the APY is a measly 0.25%. Also, the minimum to open a platinum savings account with Citibank is $100. Citibank is a division of First Citizens Bank. First Citizens has been in the business for about 125 years and has shot to national fame recently when they acquired Silicon Valley Bridge Bank. You can click on this link here to learn more about them. Right, so that was Citibank and Marcus at Goldman Sachs tied to third place on our list of top high yield savings accounts. At number two, we have Western Alliance Bank at 4.80% with their high yield savings account. Western Alliance Bank has a market cap of about $3.6 billion at the time of this taping and appears to be primarily focused on business banking. You won't find this offer on their website though. It has to be purchased via SaveBetter. SaveBetter is essentially a savings platform that connects savers with federally insured banks and credit unions to offer them deposit products that pay a higher APY than if they went directly to the financial institutions themselves. So if you're someone that wants to do business directly with your bank, Western Alliance Bank's high yield savings account may not be the right solution for you. If this doesn't bother you though, go to the Save Better website to find this Western Alliance Bank offer. Click on products and select savings accounts. And from the page that appears, Scroll down to Western Alliance Bank. Click on this link here to learn more about the product terms. And if you want to proceed after reading through the product terms, you can click on Save Now to open an account. There is a minimum opening deposit of $1. Do keep in mind that the rates on Save Better change pretty quickly and often, so there may well be other financial institutions offering a similar rate to Western Alliance Bank by the time you get onto their website. Or, if you're lucky, you might even find some better rates. And if you do, be sure to leave a comment below and share it with me and the other super savers in our community. To learn more about Save Better and the pros and cons of using them, check out this video here that we posted earlier this year. I've also linked this one below as well. All right, Super Saver, now it's time for the number one spot, or rather spots, on our list of top high yield savings accounts right now. Tied at number one, we have UFB Direct and New Tech Bank with an APY of 5.02% and 5% respectively. And yes, I know one of them is higher, but a 0.02% difference in APY is in my mind not enough to declare a clear winner in this case. So, some of you may already know New Tech Bank from this recent video on the best six-month CD we've seen thus far in 2023. And for those of you who don't know New Tech Bank, they are a subsidiary of New Tech One, a provider of business solutions with a 20-plus year track record and a market cap of slightly over $300 million at the time of this taping. New Tech Bank is also the number two lender on the Small Business Administration, the SBA's list of top SBA lenders by volume for what they call 7A loans. And according to New Tech Bank, there is no minimum balance to open this 5% high yield savings account with them and no monthly fees or hidden fees. You should note though that if you're brand new to New Tech, it may take one to two business days to open an account with them. Having recently gone through this process with them when purchasing their special promotional 5.25% APY 6-month CD offer, I can tell you that New Tech's account opening process for new customers is not fully automated in the way most of us would expect. I had to upload a utility bill, my social security card, and my driver's license to confirm my identity, and then wait about one business day before everything was set up. It's actually not as bad as it might sound now, so long as you know what to expect. Now, let's move on to the other number one on our list, UFB Direct with an APY of 5.02% on the preferred savings account. UFB Direct is owned by Axos Bank, which seems to make money from small business banking, commercial banking and lending, auto loans, and mortgages, including jumbo mortgages. At the time of this taping, Axos had a market cap of about $2.2 billion. 
UFB Direct products and services are offered by Axos Bank and insured through Axos Bank. And from what I could find, the preferred savings account seems fairly straightforward with no monthly maintenance fees and no minimum deposit required. The one thing I do want to point out if you decide to go with UFB Direct is to keep an eye out for balance tiers. Right now, it appears that they are offering this 5.02% APY regardless of your account balance. But the fact that this balance tiers table is displayed so prominently on their website directly below the 5.02% APY makes me think this may not always be the case. I know some of our super savers bank with UFB Direct. So if this is you, do drop a comment below and share your UFB feedback with the rest of us. And if you know of other great high yield savings accounts that might interest others, also drop a comment below. Now, let's talk briefly about some personal thoughts I have on top high yield savings accounts in general, as well as some considerations to keep in mind when choosing one. So personally, I feel there are at least three considerations to keep in mind when choosing a high yield savings account right now. One, banks usually offer high rates on deposit products for two reasons. I've said this in other videos before, but I think it's important to say it again. Banks are in the business of making money, as businesses should be. So they will typically offer high rates on deposit products for two reasons, to attract new customers or because they need the money for whatever reason or some combination of both. So make sure that you're comfortable with the bank that you're putting your money into and make sure that you stay below the FDIC coverage limits. Two, we haven't opened a high yield savings account with any of these institutions ourselves that I just talked about. This video was created at the request of the community as most of our videos are. Personally, at this point in time, we're still keeping two to three months worth of savings in our FDIC insured bank and laddering the rest into short term T-bills. I've never been one to hop from one high yield savings account to another simply because it takes too much time and effort, at least for me. And because three, the quoted APYs can change at any time. All the rates and offers I've talked about today are valid at the time of this taping, but subject to change without notice. So if there is a particular offer you're interested in, make sure you check with that financial institution directly first for their latest rates and offers before opening an account. And as customary, this video is not sponsored by any of the companies I've talked about today, nor do we receive any compensation from them if you choose to do business with them. Having said all this, if the Fed continues with rate hikes, then rates on high yield savings accounts will also most likely keep going up. If you're in the camp that thinks the Fed won't continue with rate hikes and you have an adequate level of emergency savings in your bank account, then it may make better sense to check out this video here and lock in something a bit longer term that's also above 5%. Or perhaps it may make better sense to buy treasuries where interest earnings are only subject to federal income taxes, but not to state or local income taxes, unlike interest earnings on high yield savings accounts and CDs, which are subject to federal, state, and local income taxes, depending on where you live and what your financial circumstances and plans are. Everyone's financial journey is different. Either way, Super Saver, I hope you found this list of top high yield savings accounts useful. It's always good to know what the current market environment looks like. And as always, if you enjoyed this video, then don't forget to share it with those you care about. And of course, hit that thumbs up and see you again very soon with another brand new wealth building video.